All right, guys, so in the description below is a link to download these reference images. So let's start by loading in our front view reference. So select insert, insert from my computer, select the front image, hit open, left click hold to select the X, Y plane. Now select the top arrow, the up arrow, and enter the values 13.655 and highlight it over here and hit control C to copy those parameters and hit OK once you're done. Now we can load in our back image. So let's go to the back side of the canvas and repeat those actions. So I'll go to insert, insert from my computer, grab that back reference image, hit open, left click hold to select this plane here, the XY plane, select the up arrow and hit control V to paste those previous coordinates inside and hit okay. Now let's go to the left view, which is the side view here. And let's repeat that same function. So insert, insert from my computer, grab that uh, side left image, left click hold to select the YZ plane. Now with the up arrow selected, we can hit control V to paste those coordinates. And let's flip this here because I noticed it's backwards. So select this icon here to reverse that. Now let's grab the right arrow. And after that selected, enter the values 1.014 and hit enter. And that should line that up perfectly. All right, guys, so let's go to the front view and let's make this a bit easier on ourselves, and let's just toggle off the bodies that we don't need because it can become a little bit distracting. So on the left side and in the bodies layer, we can just toggle these off and now we can get a better uh, visual representation of what we need to do. Now in the left view, let's uh, toggle off some of these canvases so we only have the area that we're gonna be working on, which is like the neck area. Now we can actually start creating a sketch and I wanna start off in the left view and let's just see what we need to do first. So let's go to create sketch, select the 2D background or the plane, and let's grab our two point rectangle tool to just get this base shape really quickly. So from this bottom left corner, I'll click once and bring it up all the way to the top, somewhere around here. Make sure the uh, horizontal line matches the top peak. And we'll just uh, right click, hit okay. And let's select the profile, right click, press pull, and let's go to the front view so we can see this from the front reference. Really quick guys, I'm gonna give a huge thank you and shout out to my Patreon supporters for helping fund this project. For more info on my Patreon guys, the link will be in the description. And let's get back to this series. And that looks good. So let's change it from uh, the direction from one side to symmetric so we mirror that over. Now we can hit OK to finalize that. Now let's hit F on the keyboard to enter fillet mode and we'll just select these two top edges. And let's just pull this down. And yes, we could have done a fillet in the sketch level, but you know, why not do it here? Now back in the back view, we'll select this face here and go to create sketch. And we'll use our two point rectangle once again and just start to copy this reference. So this bottom left corner all the way up and just make sure this uh, right line is on the center line. And we'll just go to create mirror. We'll select this top side and bottom line. And for the mirror line, will be this center line here. Hit OK, now we copy that over to the other side. Now we'll shift select all four of these profiles and right click, press pull. Now in the left view, we'll just pull this all the way through this body so we can cut that shape out. Now let's select this side face and go to create sketch and use our circle diameter circle tool or we can hit create drop down and select circle, circle, diameter circle or we'll use this other circle here. So from the top point, We'll just line this up at the bottom. And once we're satisfied, we'll just click. Then we can uh, right click, hit OK, and we'll finish sketch. Now we can hit the Create drop down and go to Pipe, select this uh, profile we just created, and we'll just change the size of this to match the reference a bit better. Change it from Cut to New Body. Now we can go to Create Mirror, select uh, our body, which is that ring we just created. And for the mirror plane will be this, uh, this plane here. So it's mirrored on the opposite side. Now we can go to combine, select our main body, and then the two new rings we created and change it from join to cut and let's hit okay. Now back in the left view, let's go to create sketch, select the 2D background. And we can also use the two point rectangle for this too. So I can show you guys something else. So just create a giant rectangle 
right click hit OK and let's double click any line to select the whole thing and we can right click go to move and we can just adjust this to match the reference and we're what we're basically trying to do right now is just line up this uh, this line with this reference here and once it's satisfied we're just gonna right click hit OK after we're done adjusting it now we can grab these lines and just drag to adjust them to match the reference a bit better left click and hold pull this and we'll adjust this to be the center line this will be the axis where we rotate this once we're out of sketch mode so this needs to be directly in the center once satisfied we can finish sketch or we can uh, use the line tool and we'll just uh, follow this reference and once we're done with this we'll go to the trim tool and we'll just trim off these two lines now we can finish sketch go to create revolve or you can select the icon above and select our profile and once that's selected the axis will be the center line here to rotate change it from cut to new body let's hit OK now let's get create sketch select the 2d background once again and let's use our we can use the circle diameter circle tool we can use any of the circle tools to actually get this shape sometimes it's easier to start from the circle diameter circle because you can start from the center and uh, reference it outwards that looks good let's right click it okay to select our profile press pull and let's go to the right view or the front view I'm sorry so we can actually see what we're doing from a better perspective and you want it to be this middle line here between yep that looks good right here hit OK now we can hit F to enter fillet mode select this edge and round this off let's hit OK now let's rotate around and select this flat face here and go to create sketch finish sketch now we have a profile we can right click press pull on and in the front view we have a reference line so we'll pull this all the way to about here change it from join yeah we'll leave it on join and hit OK now we'll hit after enter fillet mode, select this edge and we'll round this off to an extreme <laughs> stream amount, something around here. Let's hit OK. And let's go back to our left view and select that surface, create sketch. We use the circle diameter circle tool here from the center point. I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle of this. Because we're gonna create a pipe once we're done. Finish sketch. Go to create pipe, select our little ring here and let's make this a bit thicker change the operation from cut to new body so we can duplicate this here so let's go to create pattern circular pattern select our ring here for the let's ensure the pattern type is set to bodies from faces select our body for the axes will be this center line here the circular I said okay now let's combine these the main body with all three of these rings now that we have those cut out, now we can go to, let's talk about the canvas, go to create mirror, select our body, for the mirror plane will be this plane here, and leave the operation on join and hit OK. Now back in the left view, let's toggle back on our canvas, and let's select this surface on top of this cylindrical shape here, and hit create sketch. Now we can use the offset tool to select that, that border edge here and we'll just make this a bit smaller somewhere around here that looks good let's see how it looks in this left view and once we're satisfied we'll just uh, hit OK now we can select this newly created profile right click press pull and in the left view we'll just pull this arrow up so it collides through this body and change the operation from cut to join because it, this isn't, isn't actually going to be functional so we don't really need to worry about the specifics for now so let's create a sketch, select the 2D background and let's use our line tool to copy this reference and this is really simple and we're going to be going through the bodies so it doesn't really matter how far you go let's close this out somewhere around here right click hit OK now we can select the newly created profile right click press pull and let's go back to the front view so we can see this a bit better that looks good change it from one side to symmetric 
Here we are right here, symmetric. Change it from cut to join. Hit OK. Now let's select this surface here and go to create sketch. Back in the front view, we will use our two point rectangle tool. And we'll just copy this reference. And I could mirror this over, but it's, it's fine. I'll just eye it for now. And I'll just adjust this line a bit. That looks good. Select this newly created profile. Press pull. And we're going to press pull this inwards to get a nice little cut. That looks good. Now let's go to the back view. And let's turn on our back canvas. So we'll turn off the front. Toggle on the back. Let's select this back surface. Create a sketch. And for this, this is easy. We'll use a two point rectangle to get this shape. So from the center line here, all the way up, somewhere around here. And we'll use our fillet tool from this top left corner and round that off. Instead of hitting finish sketch, we'll right click, hit OK. And we'll go to create mirror. Select all of these lines, except for the center line. Now for the mirror line, we'll use the center line to copy this over with no issues. Select both of these profiles and we can right click, press pull. And back on the left view, we can see this a bit better. And we're done for the neck. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.